to tell us about what that was? So this is actually a, a song from one of the masters of the Algerian music. He, his name is Sheikh Lahsnawi, and uh, he's a Berber, Kabil, from the mountain, the Jurjura. And uh, he's really one of the pillars of the Algerian Shabi. And uh, I like him particularly because he sings in Berber instead of Arabic. There's a lot of masters that sing in Arabic, and they are Berbers, but because in Arabic they make their money. But this guy, he stuck with the Berber language, and he made it later, especially in Europe and all that. Uh, great musician and great, he's old, he's dead now. And he, this is one of them. And the next one I'm going to sing... Well, wait, let's go mm -hmm. back and okay. go over some of those terms, which people yes. might not be familiar with. Okay. Um, okay, we're talking about Algeria. Mm -hmm. I did a um, last week, I believe it was, or I did uh, two weeks ago. I, I did a whole program trying to explain a little bit about North Africa, mm -hmm. the different countries, but uh, mm -hmm. the different cultures. And Berber comes up again and again because it's not the same as the Arabs. The Arabs came from the Middle East, further north, the yeah. the the uh, further west, right. The, the Berbers were the original people, right? These, these are ancient, but these are the native, the, the native inhabitants of North Africa. Mm -hmm. They are the, uh, the ancestors even of the Egyptians. They mm. are even before. So uh, the Berbers are the autochton people of North Africa. And uh, they are the ones that actually when the invasion of the Arabs came in, they took Islam and purified it and made this civilization that's ours now through Spain. It's actually, mm. they are the people that actually uh, uh, translated all that Greek and uh, uh, Jewish language, Jewish uh, science and all that, and put more into it and made the science that we have today, from astrology to mathematics to anything you want. Now, in the past, I've talked to Shebi Saba, who mm -hmm. is a Berber from Algeria, and he's Jewish. Mm -hmm. And there was also a group, a uh, performing group here, Oh, I already forgot what they were called mm -hmm. at the uh, World Music Festival a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, and she was a Berber from Algeria mm -hmm. who was also Jewish, yeah. and uh, sometimes in other music uh, mm -hmm. CDs or information. Right. So there are Muslim Berbers, there are Jewish Berbers. Are there any Christian Berbers? Oh yeah, lots of them. Mm -hmm. There are the problem with uh, the the minorities as Jewish and uh, and and uh, Christians. Mm -hmm. They actually were left alone with from the Muslims. Majority mm -hmm. majority is Muslim, yeah. and uh, they actually lived uh, in in harmony with the, with time, the Jewish yeah. people, mm -hmm. and and they are the ones actually that saved the Jewish people from extermination from the Christians themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <Complicated>. yeah, <laughs> right. But uh, they lived in harmony with everybody. I have a lot of friends that were Jewish, that were uh, uh, Christian. 
but there are few. It's a mm -hmm. minority. The, the, the in 90, Nigeria. Yeah, the mm -hmm. 90% of them are actually Muslims, and they are Sufi Muslims. Mm -hmm. Now, they are not. They are Sufi. Sufism is a very different kind of Islam. It's, mm -hmm. an, it's an Islam that actually resembles a little bit Christianity in what they, 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 in what they say. Because it's the, for personal salvation. The Sufi says, mm -hmm. you got to, if you don't good, do good to humanity, don't mm -hmm. even talk about God. Mm. So Sufism, they believe that you have an intermediary between you and God, and that mm. intermediary, your teacher, your, is always with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why we have some, uh, in, in Algeria, we have places, uh, uh, Quba, they call mm. them, shrines, where, where, shrines mm -hmm. where we worship, not worship, but we respect, mm -hmm. we pay respect, respect yeah. to this This guys. is, the yeah. currently, we, we said we wouldn't talk mm -hmm. about politics, yeah. but I mean, what's going on here now, with the, the Islamists who are there, are destroying this, the shrines because they claim that they're places of worship and they're not as you say they they're places not. to show respect yeah. and they exist in Africa they exist in India Pakistan yeah. in many places in the Islamic it's world a Sufi, yeah, and it's, it's a to Sufi. show respect to your teacher right. or a kind of saint but not to worship them in place of Allah no. so this yeah. is really destroying history as well as destroying the architecture um, okay so muse in the music you mentioned Shaba I think you said Mm. Uh, some form, musical form? Well, the, the Algerian music in general is going to be something that's very fast compared to uh, the Oriental music also. It's usually, the tempo is usually a 2-4. It's mm -hmm. actually faster than rock and roll and stuff. Hmm. But some of it is chant, like the one I just sung is mm -hmm. actually a chant. The singer, Sheikh Hasnawi, actually sang about my grandfather because my grandfather was a Sufi, mm. was, mm. was uh, in, in this Sheikh Ahmed in Sidi Mansour. He sings about him and uh, just repaying respect. It mm -hmm. actually happens that it is my great-great-grandfather. Huh. Mm. Um, it's, a, it's a chant, it's a religious chant. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't, in, in the mountains, in the Kabli mountains, we have a standard of uh, morality that's a little bit uh, too much where you can't even have the radio uh, in a family because you might sleep a bad word somewhere also. Hmm. Uh, so when we sing, it's all, uh, it, has, it has to have a religious meaning, something that's deep hmm. and meaningful. Hmm. Uh, those times have changed now, but this is how it used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but the music itself, if you hear it, you in the scale, in, in, in the when you look at the intervals between the notes and everything, mm -hmm. it's very, very similar to the Jewish music. It mm. is very, very similar to the flamenco music. Mm. Actually, it is the origin of the flamenco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, But also, you have the Sephardic, you have the... The, uh, the Jews who uh, yeah, fled the, Spain and Portugal. Right. And you, you have the Greeks. Mm -hmm. You have uh, the, the, the Christians mm. that were not accepted, that were not... Uh, all those music, the gypsies, the gypsies mm. that were... Uh, uh, considered uh, uh, a, a farmer mm. without land. That's mm. what they are. Mm. The flamenco, actually, it's when the uh, Moors, the Moorish people, fled after the the reconquest of Spain mm -hmm. by the Spanish, the, by the Christians. Mm. They fled out, mm -hmm. and when they fled out, they actually went to the gypsies, and they say, "We are farmers without land, like you." Falah minkum. Hmm. Flamenco. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Flamenco. Oh, I never heard that yeah. one. Huh. Well, it, it's Because one, yeah, it's there's always this debate. What does that mean? Where does it does, come from? It does, but this one, this one has hmm. a historical, yeah, yeah, uh, interesting. Yeah, his, yeah. historical uh, de hmm. recoupage, mm -hmm. how you say in, uh, in hmm. French. You so you actually play flamenco too. You'll play some of that later. Uh -huh. Did, were you brought up with a lot of music? Not really. Personally? No. 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 I, I, I uh, started playing music. Uh, well, when I remember that when I was, I would say, six or seven or eight years old, I saw a guitar, a cousin of mine had a guitar. In Al I, Algeria. In Algeria. Mm -hmm. And I remember that guitar, actually, my uncle, he broke it on my head. <laughs> because I was trying to, <laughs> really, I have this picture. It was, I was mm. trying to play it and everything. But that was the first pulse but then when i came wait, to wait, america was that because the music was not it's, it's not, not not quite acceptable not not much okay unless i said unless it has a religious meaning okay also. all yeah. right so <laughs> but later on i did uh, mingle with uh, you know 
people that play music uh, in Algeria and mm -hmm. usually French music. Like mm -hmm. one of the masters I, I, I have respect for actually is uh, like, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Jacques Brel and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the equivalent of maybe Bob Dylan in America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, those people that have uh, a, a deep uh, poet, p poetry, I always respect because mm -hmm. I, I think myself, of myself being a poet, uh, before scratching the guitar, really. <laughs> but again, that's another. Okay, but wait a minute. So you have the Berber language. Is it what is it related to? Do you know? Berber language is on its own. It's okay, it's an so old yeah. It, so then. Arabic is completely different, is another, but you had yeah. to speak Arabic probably in Algeria, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. speak Arabic. Uh, and French, and no French, doubt, yeah. yeah. And then when did you come to America? Uh, in the 90s, uh, 1990, actually. So you have at least four languages, pretty I much. I speak Italian, yeah, I speak, <laughs> yeah. So what do you write poetry in, all of them? Uh, mm, poetry is either French or Berber, mm -hmm. but all, mm -hmm. most of my songs, they are in French mm -hmm. and Berber. Mm -hmm. um, but again, uh, a poet that's not commercialized or is it, mm. yeah, just. Uh, but I had uh, produced a couple CDs, and uh, I produce another flamenco CD that will come out soon. Uh, but again, this is just to share some uh, some music. N none of it is like commercialized. To, to mm -hmm. I don't even have a website. But in the future, maybe, maybe we catch up. All right. Well, let's share some more music here. <laughs> Okay, I'm so. gonna I'm gonna go to uh, Sheikh Hassan. This is a um, uh, this is the he, he sang in Arabic mainly, but he had some songs in in Berber. He was the uh, the entertainer of the troops of the revolution in Algeria, hmm. the revolution that uh, that got France out of Algeria. When I first went to Europe yeah. in, in 1968, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the Algerians were fighting for independence, yeah. Yeah. and it was just at the point of the vote, yeah. and people would, down the street, they would walk uh, and, and hit on cars or, or beep their horns. Mm -hmm. Algerie Francaise, yeah. or... Yeah. Algeria, Algeria. That and became there, this was out on the street all the time. And that became Tahir, Jazair. It's really... Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me just tune a little bit here. Right, so I should reintroduce you for people who tuned in late here. Uh, Mohand, or David, here in Chicago, Dawi. And uh, he is a Berber from Algeria, a guitar player, a poet. And he's going to sing another piece and play another piece for us. Uh, this one from Hasnawi, who was the entertainer of the troops of the island in Algeria. Um, a great, a great master, another kind of master. <laughs> Ye kefe wuli wudem shiru, 
So what were the words to that one? It's this is about immigration. Oh, He's mm -hmm. talking about, uh, oh, bird of cage, bird of cage, look at my heart, it's bleeding. I'm in, in, in the exile, um, uh, wasting my life or living my life, but really I'm just waiting to come back. Hmm. So it's the longing for the roots. <laughs> when we were talking earlier, you said that you didn't know very many Berbers here uh -huh. in Chicago. Um, I, I think a lot of them go to France because they're right. brought up speaking French. Actually, French. actually, I have a, I have a, 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 lots of them uh, right now uh, that are in Chicago. I call them the Berber boys, <laughs> and uh, there are three of them that are listening to me now. Yeah, uh, one is. Hi. Well, yeah, hi. One is Sam, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> the other one is Rafiq, and the other one is Murad. That's Zulf Leon. That's Ambo Zulf Leon. I have another friend, Argan, and uh, his wife, uh, Peggy, that live in Chicago. I say hi. Uh, you have a beautiful night. And then uh, Jesse and his wife, uh, Katie, in uh, Woodstock. And then uh, the most important one is my wife, Mary. She's sitting at home, and uh, I hi, say Mary. hi. <laughs> hi. Okay. So now, again, you said that one of them is, I don't know which one is the, the percussionist. And uh, he, you said, is yeah. one of the Jewish Berbers. Yeah, he's a Jewish uh, Moroccan Berber that mm -hmm. um, uh, I, wish, I wish he was with me now because mm. he's a master percussionist. Really. Nice that, he's so born with it, mm. yeah. But uh, another time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but and you're Muslim because you were by uh, by yeah, Sufi. I'm mm -hmm. a Sufi Muslim mm -hmm. by uh, by uh, uh, I her I inherited mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Not practicing, mm -hmm. but I have the philosophy of uh, uh, do the good, so mm -hmm. uh, you might get close to uh, whoever mm -hmm. is there. Are are uh, do people in Algeria and Morocco and are there members in Tunisia also? Huh? Yeah, they all. Yeah. So do they? still speak Berber at home? Mostly? Well, most of them do, but uh, they are uh, assimilated a little bit. Mm -hmm. They are assimilated uh, to all the cultures, actually. They assimilate very well. The Berbers assimilate very well. Mm -hmm. uh, they are... Uh, the, the, the presence of the Arabs, of the Arab culture, especially Islam, that's what... Because uh, mm -hmm. you cannot pray in another language than right, Arabic, right, yeah. so it's one of the... Uh, what about schooling? What about school? Uh, schooling today, mm -hmm. today we are allowed to speak our language. Oh, 
Yeah, but uh, see, uh, after the independence, no, we have oh, by to. By the way, I forgot. Yeah. I made a mistake. I said sixty-eight, which was the other big yeah. political yeah. fuss in, in, yeah. in Paris. But it was. Uh, I was yeah. there sixty sixty-one. See, yeah, see what happens. Uh, what happened in Algeria? Unfortunately, uh, you have this uh, Kabil, the Kabylie, uh, la petite et la grande. It means the the lower Kabylie and the high mountains, Kabylie. Yeah. yeah, the mountains. Uh, they fought and, and they, first of all, they, they left the, during the 1830s and 18, uh, the, the 1800, they left all they have in the land and went to the mountains to mm. save the culture, to mm. save their honor and stuff. So they mm. stayed there. Mm. But what happened is uh, they fought the independence and they brought the independence 99% of the war was fought by them but there was this one percent of another tribe the Shawia, hmm. that were in tunisia preparing to get in the fight they hmm. never got in the fight but they were preparing to get in the fight hmm. but it was too late the the cabal have won the independence already hmm. okay. but when they came in the struggle for power started uh -huh. and then they killed all the revolutionaries the real revolutionaries and took the power and that's where algeria is now unfortunately mm -hmm. it's a mm -hmm. very it's a power mm -hmm. it's a it's a struggle for power mm -hmm. yeah but you can use the berber language in now we can and, yeah and, uh, now we can uh, in what, nine, 19 what, mm -hmm. yeah what uh, script do you use to write it no, with tifi now it's it's an it's 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 a finish it's like old order than finish <laughs> <laughs> we're talking now about Carthage mm -hmm. all the way before rome mm -hmm. Uh, it is it is a script that they have existed. Their own script. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it is a script. It's a verbal script. Okay. So but we use we use the Latino character today. Mm -hmm. Today oh, okay. it's easier. Yeah, today they use that. It's easier. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so then government and the radio and so forth to have it's it's uh, it's Arabized. And it's Arabized oh, and it's yeah. Uh, yeah it's really uh, it's really the struggle for power. Peter's principle, you have all the law and mafia and stuff, they are in the power, generals, and mm. they give threats, generals, I mean, it's, it's very bad. Mm. Yeah. So, how about the music? How, do, how does the, the music... The music, uh, we have uh, always the shabby mm -hmm. and ah, the that Berber was the music. That was the I was asking yeah. about, yeah. Yeah, those are the, 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 the staples of the music. Mm. That's like saying country music or whatever. Ah, okay. Yeah, and then you have uh, the most popular music today is the Rai. It's mm -hmm. very famous here, Shab Khaled et Right, right. But we, didn't, we don't consider that music. It's, we consider it as bar music and stuff. Mm. So, but music-wise, it's music that's very famous. Mm -hmm. It's rhythmic, people like it. Yeah. Uh, but in, in uh, my culture, music is really poetry. Mm -hmm. uh, poetry is the the thing. The music is just something to come out uh, to mm. accompany the poetry. Mm -hmm. So if there is no if there is no poetry, we don't care about the music really. So for the things like lullabies or wedding songs or the everyday kind of music, then that's in Berber. Yeah, you have and, the, and the, you know in Arabic too. But the shabi and the, the the songs of the street and so forth is that in Arabic? It's or in Berber? Arabic, yes. Arabic. In Arabic, most of most okay. mostly. So the Rai music is. is More Rai is in Arabic, yeah. It's actually one region in in the west in Oran mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. uh, next to uh, Spain, just that area. And speaking of Spain, then mm -hmm. we have the Andalusian music, which is important. Yeah, yeah. That's the classical style that was in Spain. Uh, Andalusian music is, uh, some of it is uh, Arab influence, some of it is uh, Sephardic influence, some, mm. of, some of it is Greek, some of it Gypsy, some of it, mm. yeah, Moorish. Mm. It depends on the area you are. If you mm. are in Cordoba, you're going to hear Berber music to a certain point. You're going to hear Moorish music. If you are in uh, down, down in, in, in uh, Cadiz or in... Uh, you're gonna hear um, some Sephardic, some Gypsy, and mm. some this. It's mixed up. Mm. Mm, I, I'm not an expert in it, but I think mm -hmm. that uh, uh, it's a very. You can tell uh, the mm. style. So yeah. the history is is right in the music. Yeah, it it is um, because every region mm. that you call the styles, the rhythmic styles mm -hmm. of the flamenco, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's by the region. Hmm. Okay, so then if you were not brought up playing these in, in Algeria, then mm. where did you learn them? I, l I learned them here, actually. <laughs> I, I learned the guitar here. Mm -hmm. the but, guitar. Then, but these musical styles, and where did you learn uh, those? Here. 
here. From? Like flam flamenco, I learned from. Uh, uh, I there was a teacher here in Chicago, uh, uh, Thomas. Um, oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I learned Utre some Utrera. Uh, yeah, he's a gypsy yeah, from yeah, Spain. A little bit, yeah. yeah. But I learned mm -hmm. mainly from myself. Hmm. As as a student, he's the best teacher of. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, and I, the, my my best teacher, if uh, uh, I say uh, the virtual teacher, would be uh, Juan Serrano, mm. uh, the best teacher of flamenco, really, because he writes mm. the music. Mm -hmm. Most of the flamenco players don't write it. Mm -hmm. That's that's where the problem is. You have to be in Spain to learn it. Mm. But uh, I learned it from uh, from from myself, uh, do, doing the books and all that. But what about the Berber songs that you were talking the, about and those famous uh, gentlemen from earlier times? That, that's from home, yeah. So Th that, that is from that you home. remembered hearing it, or are there recordings? No, no, I le yeah, I learned, I heard them there. I sing them. That's what we sing in high school. Oh, Beside okay. the Rolling Stones, that's <laughs> what we sing. <laughs> okay, all right. So, yeah. Well, whenever you're ready, go ahead and and sing another one. You want? I'm gonna do. A, I I wish I had the oud now, mm. but I'm gonna do one. Yeah, we had oud here last week. Yeah, Akli so. is a, is a contemporary. He's still alive. Mm. I will. I pay respect. Uh, I, I, I homage to him. If uh, he's listening, or we say hi, but I, I doubt it. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little introduction just for me. Uh, then I'm gonna go into his song. It's okay. again about immigration. It's hmm. about exile. Do you so have any idea what percentage of the people leave? In Kabylie, the misery is so total that hmm. everybody leaves. Hmm. Yeah, they have to live to go make a living and stuff. So even if they're not driven out because of some, I mean, as you the said, war. for a long time the mm -hmm. Jews were mm -hmm. were not. Um, it's exactly there was the no same prejudice against, but then for a while they were. Exactly. So some left for that, but but also uh, the, the without without. Uh, this is just from uh, from uh, saying it the way I, I understand it. It's exactly the same thing that happens to the uh, Native Americans mm. that almost happened to the Jews. Mm. That was hap that is happening for two thousand years now, mm. almost mm. not two thousand years, but for for at least a thousand years. Mm. That's happening to the Berbers. Mm. It's exactly the same thing. Boy. Yeah, but we don't want. We are an endangered species, but we don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, keep it alive with music. <laughs> Je 
Again, what is what is it talking about? This uh, it's again exile. It says I've been too long in the exile, mm. and. Uh, but do the know. songs ever talk about, for example, I miss the beauty of the mountains or oh, there is a lot things like that? There is a lot of that, but uh, I'm in the sad mood though. Mm. I'm uh, mm. I'm playing mm. from the heart right now, so. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But uh, yeah, there is there is happy songs. There is. Uh, no, but I mean, from an exile's point of view, t- t- about uh, how much I miss the beautiful mountains know, or something like the problem, that. The problem, the problem with the exile is, uh, imagine a tree that has its roots here mm-hmm. and the leaves out there. Mm. It's very hard to be happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you can yeah. be happy, but there is always the longing. There is always mm-hmm. the nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. There, there is always the call, the roots. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, you brought one of your um, CDs mm-hmm. from which the one I've played from, yeah. uh, from time to time. There is so one happy one, actually, the number seven. Okay, if you why, want. why don't we play that? Yeah, sure. Um, and give you a chance to, mm-hmm. to tune up here. Sure. And uh, so, if I can get this silly machine to work. Okay, so again, if you've just tuned in, this is Mohan Dawi, or how did you pick the name David? <laughs> For your well, American name. You want to you want to read the real story? <laughs> when I was in the military, as as uh, mm. uh, you know, we do two years mandatory mm. the military. In, in Algeria. Yeah, mm. I, I I was always AWOL. <laughs> so one of my friend he called me. That's David. the escaped because he saw a movie where there is somebody escaped from oh. prison. His name is David, and they called me David <laughs> since then. So I kept it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's let's listen to this uh, this piece from your CD while you're tuning up here for your next piece. what that song I'm play, was. I'm going to this what one, was that last one. one. Yeah. It was just uh, 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 it was a traditional um, song. Uh, mm-hmm. Just an air, an old air of, uh, mm-hmm. and I rearranged it and played the, mm-hmm. yeah. Alright, so, so what do you want to play now? I'm going to play an original piece. Okay. Uh, 
it's in A minor. I, I call it prelude, and uh, we'll see. mentioned your uh, friend who plays uh, Darbaka. Do you often play with other musicians? I'm usually uh, a solo player, and this was actually a classic. I forgot to tell you, I, I compose mm. mainly on classical. Mm. This is a classical piece. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I do uh, with uh, flamenco with uh, some people, mm -hmm. and then uh, when it's uh, Berber music and you know, with mm -hmm. uh, this uh, percussionist mm -hmm. and mainly most of the time I'm I'm a solo guy mm. do you give public performances yes I do I do and uh, uh, or m my real job is uh, I'm an electronician and what I mm. do is a service electronic service mm. and uh, today all there is is a TV TV repair so mm. I'm, a, I'm a TV repairman mm. and uh, I do uh, play a, a mainly private uh, mm -hmm. parties like wedding ceremonies and mm. clubs that mm. uh, want music because my music is kind of chamber music mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. for dance or ambiance mm. we're trying to remember how we met and I th I think that somehow I don't know must have been that that somehow I mentioned music uh, but I can't. We can't remember when or where it was. But I really don't but know. I'm glad that we did, so mm -hmm. that uh, that I uh, know about you. If, if if you have a public performance, please be sure to let me know, so I, I can will. let yeah. people know. Because mm -hmm. now, having heard you, I'm sure that they be uh, pleased to mm -hmm. to go hear you. Um, t we've got a quarter of an hour left. Do you want to play some flamenco? I'm going to play flamenco. I'm going to play soleare. It's what uh, mm -hmm. it's what a flamenco a uh, person will play when he's alone. It's soleare, solo, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And um, flamenco music uh, is, uh, 
most of it is sad, and this one is uh, Por Arriba, I mean, so it's in A minor. It's going to be a little sad, but that's where depth is. Do you ever play for flamenco dancers? Could. <laughs> there I, are I some. Have, I, have to meet, I have to meet one first. Okay. Well, I just want to let people know that, in fact, there is a, a new exhibit opening up at the Instituto Cervantes. Mm -hmm. of uh, It's called Flamenca New York in Chicago. And it's photos of female flamenco artists in New York mm -hmm. City. It opens uh, Wednesday the 6th. The Instituto Cervantes Gallery is um, on uh, West Ohio, and uh, there will be an opening reception from 6 to 9 on February 6. The exhibit will continue through March 29th, so you might want to go have a look. I will take a look at that, yeah. Yeah. So anything else that you want to tell you people know, about... Uh, uh, yeah, first I want to thank you to give, for giving me this chance. Oh, um, enjoyed it. Singing for uh, un peuple en voie de disparition. The people that are disappearing mm. in front of mm. us, a culture, a language. This language, mm. the verbal language that I was talking, I was speaking with, mm -hmm. is at the verge of, disparition, of dis disappearing. disappearing. Yeah, yeah. What is the name of, uh, I was so embarrassed when I mm. s said that your song was in Arabic because, in fact, the name of your album is the word that I think means Tamazah. Berber. Tamazah yeah. means the land of Berber. Of the Berbers, yeah. yeah. Amazir is uh, the 
Berber is is a Roman term for mm. uh, for the the I guess a war term to, to, to say barbaric or something stranger oh, yeah <laughs> the real name yeah. is is Amazir Amazir is the the, the actually uh, Berber or Amazir name for for them it means Om Libre it means man free oh, free, free man, free man yeah. yeah. Hmm. So it's not related to Tomacek, is it? Tomacek is is Amazir, is is a dialect. Ah, of, uh-huh, yeah, okay. Tomacek so is, Tomacek is the Mali. Tuaregs. All right. Is in Mali, yeah. In yeah, Mali yeah. Mali, okay. Yeah. Tomacek yes. means Tamazir. It's exactly the same thing. Okay. Actually, there's an exhibit. I don't know have you seen the exhibit at Field Museum. They have a big exhibit on West Africa, and then there's one room which includes sort of the rest of Africa. There's East Africa, um, and but there's uh, one little section. That is, uh, I think, the Tuareg people, and it uh, and it mm-hmm. shows the writing. That's why I was when I asking about the writing. The writing. That is the and that, that traditionally it's the women, in, at least in the group that they're talking, yep. that they're showing there, who know how to read and write, and they teach the children. I think I think they invented tattoos, <laughs> <laughs> because mm-hmm. what they do actually, when you see a Berber woman with a tattoo in her front, mm-hmm. in her, on her uh, forehead, on, in, yeah, in her forehead. Uh, one of them that I was I deciphered one day uh, with a friend, it was just is it, it was just like four letters. It mm-hmm. means for existence. It's a woman that had lost children mm-hmm. and she tattooed here for existence, for mm-hmm. living, mm-hmm. for life. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, with yeah. four letters, yeah. Mm. And I was amazed. How that's where the language is. That's the right there. Mm-hmm, the scripture mm-hmm. is, and the people do the tattoo. I didn't know mm-hmm. that it's a language, but yeah. it's actually a tiffy now. So, is it when you, we've talked a little bit about immigration and how many mm-hmm. people leave for economic opportunity, that's political yeah. problems, and mm-hmm. so forth? But is it mostly only the men who leave? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because uh, I do have an, an album here. Which I played from in the past. Lately, uh, Malika Zara, who's a woman who left, but oh, it seemed that that was niece, fairly unusual. My niece just left a few months ago. She's uh-huh. in Canada. So modern now, women. Oh yeah, now modern women are, uh-huh. uh, yeah, they are all empowered and everything. But before, uh, it's uh, it's a male uh, society. It's uh-huh. uh, we do have a lot of respect for women, but uh, they command the inside of mm-hmm. the house mm-hmm. and the man is the king of the outside so th- mm-hmm. that's exactly what it is well so maybe the hope for it is that the women mm-hmm. carry uh, carry it when they go in diaspora as well as thanks, the men in diaspora thanks the, to yeah. education yeah mm-hmm. women are getting uh, um, women are getting more power uh, thanks mm-hmm. to education mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. It's, it's the only way out for women in mm-hmm. those countries is education mm-hmm. that's it okay interesting well, do you want to play something else? We've got uh, the next guy wants to start exactly on time. I, I so. <laughs> you know, um, um, yeah. What, do you want to still stay with flamenco? Yeah, why not? Yeah, you you I'm say go- you also play Jacques Brel and you so want me? forth. I can but, do it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I do whatever Jacques you Brel. want. I do a Jacques Brel. Okay, let's let's hear your your range. <laughs> Avec la mer du nord pour dernier terrain vague Et des vagues de dunes pour arrêter les vagues Et de vagues rochers que les marées dépassent Et qui ont à jamais le cœur à marée basse Avec infiniment de brumes à venir Avec le vent de l'Est Écoutez le tenir le plat pays qui est le mien avec des cathédrales pour une unique montagne ou des noirs clochers comme un mât de cocagne où des diables en pierre décrochent les nuages avec le fil des jours pour une unique voyage. Et les chemins de pluie pour unique bonsoir Avec le vent d'ouest, écoutez-le vouloir Le plat pays 
qu'il m'y a Avec un ciel si bas qu'un canal s'est perdu Avec un ciel si bas qu'il fait l'humilité Avec un ciel si gris qu'un canal s'est pendu Avec un ciel si gris qu'il faut lui pardonner Avec le vent du nord qui vient s'écarteler Avec le vent du nord, écoutez-le Craquer le plat pays qui est mien Avec de l'Italie quand les descend l'escaut Avec Frida la blonde quand les devient Margot Quand les fils de novembre nous reviennent en mai Et quand la plaine est fumante et tremble sous juillet Et quand le vent est au riz quand le vent est au blé, quand le vent est au sud, écoutez-le chanter le plat pays qui est le mien. So we've heard a bit of the wide range of uh, David Dowie with the Berber traditional and his own versions and the classical and klezmer, uh, klezmer um, flamenco, <laughs> not klezmer, but flamenco, and, uh, and now Jacques Well. I'm um, going to ask him to pick another one from his recordings so we can make a smooth transition here to our next uh, DJ, uh, who you should, of course, stay tuned for, and uh, invite him back again. Okay. Um, any other point that you want to make about your culture or uh, the music? Well, well um, what, what I would like to say is uh, thanks to uh, people like you that are not uh, unidimensional, that uh, have a taste for other cultures and stuff. Uh, that's what, what I really appreciate in, uh, in, in, in the educated American people. Since so many of them go to, so many people go from Algeria and mm -hmm. the rest of North Africa to mm -hmm. France, mm -hmm. is are there is there an appreciation in France? Some the educated people uh, in France mm -hmm. are are pretty good. Mm -hmm. They are, they are a little bit uh, uh, arrogant sometimes, mm -hmm. but when they get to know you, you have mm -hmm. to respect. When you you see something uh, good in human being, it doesn't matter what it is. You respect it, and music is usually the vehicle for most of our emotions, most of our good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we appreciate the, the good things for, that you have brought us from Algeria, Berber, and from yourself. Thank you, Thank Mohan Dawi. Thanks to listeners. Thanks. Bye-bye.